I good to meet everyone. We are now today. We'll be discussing Shabbos Daf and Hayim Beis, the ending of Sheish Tkiyos, the sixth Tkiyos they used to blow, Bizman um, Amikdash, and as well as the concept of the Tosfos is Shabbos. Gemara Alam Hayim Beis says as follows: Tanur Rabbanon Sheish Tkiyos took an Arab Shabbos. There were six Tkiyos that were blown Arab Shabbos. Now the Gemara has, has two versions. Exactly what went. The first shot is Rishayin will have to do something Malachal. Shabbos Sadish will have to leave a Chanu Yisli. Shabbos Sadik is there. The third one is not the Gvener. And Rishayin is Chayduk. And then Rishayin could actually is the Koton. The Taken Rishayin gave Shabbos. After the sixth one, you Shabbos. Now the next shot is Tonu the Rabbi Shmuel. Sheish Tki is Taken. Arab Shabbos. Hischol the Koyet Kiri Rishayin. And Nimnu Ha'imdim. And the Sadim Ladur. And the Lafrish Malach is Kamalach Shabbos Sadis. Then I carried Mishon the Koni. Such a very Taken becomes the Kung Gechel. The The main thing I want to bring out is from. Um, his good kite kishni, this is the part I want to bring out. And this talqua trace in the Nunu Lachem Luyus, Va Dain Chami Munochan Gabi Kira. After the second one, the Chamin are still on top of the on top of the Kira, the stove. Um, there's Munochan Gabi Kira. His good kite kishlish, see the Kamasal, give him an Amatmin. After the kishlish is the Matmin, uh, um, you have to then do take away your pot and do Atmona and, and then cover it. The Hidlik Amadak and Imadak Vener, Vishay, Gedate Slias, the Koton, and Gil Hadmik Vas Vatan, or the Kamri, the Shavis, then you shave it. So, what is the end of being Shaves? What is after the Tkiyas? Why does the Shavisa start then? So, Rashi says over here, in Dimar Asul Ahadik Paz, Shavim Amar and Atkiyas Kedil Hoysis Michal Ala Kodesh. It's not, in other words, it wasn't Mamish Lailo. You just did this in order to the mitzvah of the Mitzvah of Michal Ala Kodesh, Tosif and Shabbos. So, the Tkiyas were a simon, and now everyone has to be Kabbal Shabbos, and therefore you have to finish all the Malachis before Shabbos. Interestingly, Rasho, Rashi in Sukkah, Edaf Mem Zayin, I believe, he has a different shot. He says there that after the last kia, you should know that it's Shabbos and you give me chayv skilo. So Rishash of there points out how can be chayv skilo? It's only maximum is it's been hashmoshes because the Gemara says you madlik v'neir, you can't, and then you're to care the last kia. You can't be madlik during ben hashmoshes. That's mission before. So obviously we're talking about before ben hashmoshes. So how can it be a chayv skilo? It's only a suffix. And the base mayor as well asked the question. Simon Reish Samach Aleph and a little earlier in Reish Nun Ches. So that's a big kasha on Rashi. But Akapon in the Pashtas, everyone assumes, is your Mechabal, it's your Mois of Michal al that's what the final Tki is for. So now, like we mentioned, the Gemara says that you have to make sure you do the Hatamonis, finish all your Hatamonis before the last Tki. So the question is, it's a steer to the Beferisha mission that we had just two blad ago, or actually one blad ago. The mission of Lama Dalit says, Sofik Hashech, Sofik Eni Hashech, Ema Asin is Avade, the Ema Vilan is a Kemal Dixoners, Abu Masin is a Mayim Urvin, the Toyn in Esachamit. That you could do hatmona on Shabbos, a Ben So here, here you makabel like we said, it's before Ben Hashmoshes, or right, or it could be right before Ben Hashmoshes, like we said, is adlokas aner. So how can you tell me that you have to rush to do the hatmona? So this is a very stark question. Now, so in order to answer this question, we have to see the Mordechai, who brings down a very interesting Shiloh. The Mordechai over here is Simon Reish Tzadik. He says, like it said, you could do Ervin. Who in the Ervin of Shilin? Who had the Ervin of Shilin? Who had the Ervin of Shilin? If you have a Ervin of Shilin, you have a Ervin of before night, and you have a Kabbalah early Shabbos, you also have this Din. Daniel is born with Kiyas Shafer. The Kaidim Savik Hashem, I'm a Kabbalah Shabbos, says, He's going to Damish. Damish says, Ben Hashemoshes, you could be Ma'arvim and Toyim Nesachan. And obviously, if you're talking about after Tkiyah Shavir, Tkiyah Shavir says was earlier. And I feel the it says, you could do Atmana. So you see from there that even after Kabbalah's Shabbos, you could still do um, Erev, you could still do Erev Tavshilin and Atmana. And Erev, like the Mishnah. The Mishnah, he says, applies even after Ma'arv. Now, I could have said the Mishnah is only talking about before Kabbalah, Kabbalah's Shabbos. He says, no, there's no difference. And he says, that's Rabbi Yoel said. So what's also to be shame Rabbi Shmuel is Sherei Kain. Maybe Rabbi Kmoish Shmuel Rabbi Yoel. He brought right from the Mishnah. The Mishnah that says Ben Ashmosh is someone after the Sheish Tkiyos, obviously. They'll make Kabbal Shabbos. And I feel Hachi. It says Ma'or B'Toyim Nesachamin. But he says V'Amru. But he mixes to me the Oshir V'Amru the Yeshchilik Ben Kibel Olav Shabbos and Loy Kibel. No, the Din of Ma'or B'Toyim is only if you're not in Kabbal Shabbos. Mechazer by Rav Oser. He changed his mind. And he was a Yisrael. But heavy rayim and after he sefted Masech the Sukkah, his slut koyah shlishes. I feel mecham yodim minichal words. The sefta says that after the shlishes, you have to put down the mecham, which is I don't know why it brings up the sefta. It's basically the same thing in our Gemara that says basically see the kamatim, see see klar that by the tkiyus you have to stop doing atmona. So he says elamai after kabbal shabbos, which is the tkiyus symbolizes kabbal shabbos, you can no longer do atmona. So the shlon is pure. Big Yasha points out to how you can answer the mission before. According to this, that is a chiluk between Kabbalah Shabbos and Adel. So why does the Mishnah say it's coming after the kiss? He said you have to say it's talking about 
a person which explicitly had in mind that he doesn't want to be Mikabal Shabbos. But in Hanami, otherwise, you're automatically Mikabal Shabbos you, with the kiss. And in Hanami, the Mishnah would not apply the din of Ma'arv and Taimin and would not apply it. Because once you're Mikabal Shabbos, that's worse than your typical Ben Hashemoshes. If you're heading Mikabal Shabbos. Ham Tzvi and Tshuva and Simon Yeral, is a big Arichos, he doesn't like this Pshat, he disagrees, he says, Misvara, it can't be the Kabbalah Shabbos, could be worse than Menash Moshe, which is Suffolk Day Rice. In other words, Kabbalah Shabbos, Taisa Shabbos is even before Shkia. What's Taisa Shabbos? It's Mitzvah say to, to be Moshe Michal al Kaidish. How could it be worse than a Suffolk Skila? Which, you know, if I stayed there, he could argue in the Lumbus, because once you're Kabbalah Shabbos, it's a Vada, and a Suffolk, the Chum were making. So he says, Avada, that the Chachomim, Avada, even if you're Kabbalah Shabbos, there's no difference whatsoever. So it's not clear, but it seems what he, how he's answering the kasha for the Tesefta that the Mordechai brings down and says you can't do Atmano, which would also answer our Gemara. It seems that the Chacham Tzvi is learning that um, that you're, that there's a special gzera they made for Atmano included in the Sheish Tkis, which is very schwer. My Zayda, the, the Balatanya, points out in Shulchan and Kudrus Achim that why would they make such a gzera? And the Gemara said clearly they weren't geyser. The Gemara says... That um, that the Gemara says why the Gemara says why weren't you guys a banish The Gemara says stam today is rois chais. He's saying a new gzera. When did the gzera happen? After the Mishnah, there was another gzera. So that's a shara pshat. The Taz in Simen Tov Reish also agrees to the Chamtz Vishi. He gives a, seems to say a different mahalach. He is of the opinion that the case of there was you're cooking on the stove. So on the stove is taka us. There's if we had to take it off. But then the Chanami stam is being matzman is not a problem. It's just saying everyone has to take their pots. Everyone has to take their pots off the stove. Um. So the etzim, the Chacham Tzvi is shita. The shita these achreinim that um, that you're even after Kabbalah Shabbos, you're allowed to do these er, these you're allowed to do these things. It's tzarek mitzvah. It's basically the, the way the Rambam says the Chachamim were in Glazer on a shvus unless it's a tzarek mitzvah. So the Chacham Tzvi brings down a kasha on, on his own shaft from Gemara and Brachas Daf Mem Zayin. Gemara says Rav Tzoli Shal Shabbos Barav Shabbos. So the Gemara says that um, the Gemara asked the Chayra. What about? And then he went to the markets afterwards. So Gemara had to go to the markets. So, so the Gemara says because it was a kabbalah b'toyis. So it's mivur from the Gemara that if you know that, that he wasn't really mikabel shabbos. Mivur the Gemara had he been mikabel shabbos, he wouldn't have been able to go to markets, even though markets is only a shvus. So the Chacham Tzvi answers that no. So the Chayyur is shver. The Chayyur, you see that that letzarich mitzvah they weren't goyzer in a shvus benesh moshes like we find that you let him do erevin. So he says no, it's only letzarich mitzvah. There wasn't letzarich mitzvah, which is the Chayyur very shver because the Chayyur is letzarich mitzvah over there. Um, the Gemara says before, and that uh, whatever we had over there, the Chafayim base that that Mechitzah B'Cham is a Tzarech Mitzvah. So, so the Shita of the Chacham Tzvi is from the Gemara and Brachas Daf Chazayin. Back to what we said to the other Shitas. Let's say you hold like Rabbeinu Maskon or Rabbeinu Yoyel. It's Taka Oser. There's a Chiluk in Kabbalah Shabbos and Minas Moshes, and after Kabbalah Shabbos, it's Taka Oser to do any Derabbanan. And the whole din of the Mishnah that says Ma'or Ben Tamei Sacham and Tumah if you weren't Mekabel with the Kis. That's where the Shlua point is. So I said to Tumah the guy had in mind not to be Mekabel. Clear that Shver from the Mordechai at the end of the paragraph. He says, "The chinkos of Rivom, the makol omer b'arav Shabbos Baruchus, ain't a yochet shleihoi be'ez hakenesis yochel asis melacha." That if the kol said Baruchu, the yochid cannot do melacha. In other words, you don't have a right to to go, be different than the tzibur. So the chayyur, well, how could you say that it's a kasha on the big day yasha, which is the shlo? How could you say that he had a mind not to mekabel the chayyur? You have no right to be different than the tzibur. So the chayr, we, we, so we have no tarets now. But this sheet of Rabbi Yehuda, how learn the Mishnah? The chayr is told that after Kabbalah Shabbos because of sheish tikkis. So why let him go over time in a sachamim? So the base mayor he says in Simon Rish Shalachal, he says you have to say about Karchov. The pshat is that it's told about a person that was in a town that there was no tikkis. I hate to say that there was taka no, there was no kabbalah. But otherwise, in a chanam you would taka be yaser. Now once we bring down the Mordechai, I just want to point out the Mordechai brings down a story um, in Simon Rish Tzadik Zayin. That my may have said that Pamach Achas Erev Shabbos so Yivim Emunin Hoyo. It was a cloudy day and they thought it was Shabbos. People light little lit candles, and then it turned out that it was Lois Pal Ma'arev Hayishu Yivim Veschul Aner. So he said that um, that Sholochach Mi Adar V'Omru Oisin Shad Liku Asurim Lahad Likoid. Those people that were mad like the Neiris, even though it was, it, they, they made a mistake, they thought it was they thought it was Shabbos and it wasn't. Those people feel Achid they're Mekabel Shabbos. So the Beis Yosef asks the Chayra, whatever what happened to Kabbal the Toyus Lei Le Kabbal. We know the Gemara and Bracha said. That if you dive in Rav Tzolei Shel Shabbos, the Gemara says Yom Ham Unen, and the Gemara said that um, by Yom Ham Unen that it's not a Kabbalah Shabbos. So how come lighting Neiris should be any different? So the Yosef says that you see from here that he holds um, that Mashu Desfilu that Difo Kabbalah Shabbos Aidei Adlokas Neiris Shumaisa Kabbalah B'Tfilo that 
that uh, halakas neir is a ma'isa. You see from here, it's stronger than tefillah. So even though kabbalah betoyus, if you daven ma'ir by mistake, it's not a kabbalah. But halakas neir that would be stronger, and then even if it's betoyus, nothing to do about it. So Rav Zundel Aishi Shocker in a sefer Ginzei Chaim, available for purchase on Lulu.com through Hebrew Books. He brings down a tushtel to this from the Gemara in the Dorm Daf Nun Test that says even though yesh shelo betshuma, but once it's boliyat koyin, there's no shelo. So he explains because once boliyat koyin is a ma'isa. Now I think this is a sharp shot because her old shuma is a ma'isa. You mafresh the shuma. Why is that not a ma'isa? So he's saying is it between ma'isa and not a ma'isa? But I would have explained it much simpler. That when a guy davens Mayriv Betoyus, the reason why it's not a Kabbalah is not because it's not in Sheili, I think like it's Pasha. He never had in mind a special Kabbalah, I mean, a Kabbalah Shabbos. He thought it was Shabbos. The case where they thought it was Shabbos. So if a guy thinks it was Shabbos, then they, uh, you know, they think it's night. So it was a mistake. There's no Kabbalah. However, in a case where a guy's madly, what's that Lokas Neris? We're going now, let's see, with the Sheet of Baha'i, God, Lokas Neris is a special Kabbalah. So if a guy's in Kabbalah Shabbos special, then in a Chanami, there's no Sheila. So the chil between tefillah and adlokas neir is not because one's a mice and one's not a mice. Not like the bais yosef. But you want to say the chilik is is because pasha by tefillah there's no kabbalah at all. I just thought it was a mistake. Mashenki and adlokas neir. I made a kabbalah shabbos, so I don't care what the reason I made the kabbalah. It's raised the arm shabbat. So I was checking into this and I saw the guy in Mamre says exactly what we were tying. He says the yeshayim. This is mechaber brings on the two shittas. Simon reish on the gimel sif yud dalit. If they made a mistake, what's the halacha? Sfirly the kabbalah betoyis have a kabbalah. And he says, That's the, that's the khur, that's exactly what the going means. That that is a difference. That feels it's not a word. It's about the kabbalah is a kabbalah. The is nothing. It wasn't a kabbalah betoyes. About loka is a kabbalah. As they in going. Now, once I'm on the subject, I'll just mention that the shulchan aruch there is a stira about the shita of the shalav rabbeinu yoyel we mentioned before. If there's a difference between mena shmoshes and and um. And Kabbalah Shabbos. Shulchan Aruch Reish Hamachal Sif Dalat says, "Achani es Baruch Hu, Avol Bishadai and Yoimul Ein Ma'arvin Ve'Ein Toim." He says that once you make Kabbalah Shabbos, it's too late. You can't do the whole mission that says, "Ve'Ein Hashemoshes You can do these things. It doesn't apply after after Kabbalah Shabbos. As we state in Shulchan Aruch, and like we said, the Chacham Tzvi disagrees with this. So the Achrayim point out, Dogum Rebava, the Beis Meir, that's a steer to the Mechaber later on in Hilchas Erevin. Now there are various trutsim. The Dogum Rebava says the Tarets. Um, and there, it's not such a simple tarot. The Shulchan the Zayde in Kuntras Achan says, Mahalach, Ayn Sham, and have a great Yom Tiv.